Hi guys, this tutorial is to cover how to import cover page designs into our cover page designer. You can create your own cover page designs from scratch, but we've also created uh, a few dozen cover page designs that you can start with now and we'll be adding more over time. So you may see more uh, in your copy of Home Inspector Pro than you even see in this video. To get to cover page designs, we're gonna go up to report settings and click on cover page designer. The cover page designer will pop open. Uh, if you're using the default template, you may see a cover page design like this already open or something you've created previously. Uh, we cover the cover page designer in detail in a separate tutorial, uh, but basically everything in here is drag and drop. I can you know, move logos around or move where the cover photo is supposed to be, where the text is supposed to be. Um, in this case, we want to look specifically on how to import designs. So at the bottom, we have an import design and an export design. So if you've made something you like, you can export it and share it with others. But I can also click on import layout from file. When I do this, it'll pop open my file browser. And you want to go to where you have Home Inspector Pro installed and go to the cover page design folder. Now, you may have gotten the file from the Facebook uh, group for Home Inspector Pro or on our message boards or someone emailed you a file. In that case, you're going to go to wherever that file is stored. Uh, right now, I'm going to look at the ones that we've preloaded. So I'm going to go to cover page design. Uh, at this time, we have two different variations of the design within each of these design layouts. There's multiple color versions. Like I said before, you may see more here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and choose cover page design two. And let's choose the gray and teal. And I'm going to click on open. Uh, you will notice that the design files are HDZI files. That's the file type you're looking for. So this changed my design here. If I didn't like that one, I can go back to import. Maybe I like blue and red better. <clears throat> There's my blue and red design. Or black and maroon. So you can choose whatever color design you want. Um, once you're in here, as we'll cover in more detail in the design video, but I can go to any of these fields, click on add and edit text, and I can modify all the text that appears there. And notice we have a drop down for variables now as well. You can also change the fonts, resize everything. Um, you may need to, depending on your cover photo, uh, the size that you're taking, click on that cover photo, and you can either enlarge it or shrink it um, or drag and drop it to move it around. So you'll see in this case, um, if, you, if you've preloaded a cover photo, it'll actually show you the actual photo from that report. So that's always a good, a good uh, idea is to load a photo in advance. That way you can kind of play with this. But I can drag and drop and move things around and I can also adjust the layers that these things are in. So I can move this up a little bit and then move it down so it's behind everything else. If you have any questions on this, definitely you can contact our help desk at 888-750-4777 or go to the help desk on our website, homeinspectorpro.com or email us at help at homeinspectorpro.com.